Hello, this is Cindy. Welcome to my channel. And I'm talking to you face to face today only because I did a three part video of an unboxing and I promptly lost the first part. It didn't record. It made, I don't know what happened. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put down in the description box uh, those little chapter headings so that you can skip forward to the parts that you are more interested in taking a look at. Basically what I did is I went to craft to bits and pieces in Fairport, New York, and I'm going to put the link for them down below as well. They are an absolutely wonderful place, store, where I can get all sorts of secondhand craft things. It's better than a thrift store because it is focused on crafting and sewing. And so there's no furniture, there's no pottery. It's all stuff to craft with. And I didn't, like I said, I did an unboxing video. I went to show you everything that I bought and I lost the first part, first third of the video. So in a moment, it's going to switch. And when it switches, it will be, you'll kind of pick me up in the middle. Um, you will have missed a few things. I would show them to you, except my craft room has already subsumed them. And so uh, rather than dig them all back out again, I'm just going to let you pick up partway through the video and then go on from there. All right. This is Cindy saying, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna try and stay in frame for all of this, but I'm standing up rather than sitting down, so we'll see. There's some more lace. Look at all the lace that's in there. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this package and the lace, and look at all of this wonderful, wonderful lace. I don't wanna catch it on the staple. There we go. But look at that, isn't that really pretty? And there's a whole lot of it. For 50 cents. For 50 cents. Do you know how many book bindings that's going to do? That's a lot. Um, and then I the stamps. The stamps were buy one, get one free. So the, this one was $1.50. And I'm going to put a page behind it so you can see it better. I really got this one for the postal stamp that's over here. It's pretty large. Um, obviously used. Don't care. But that was $1.50, so this one was free. Isn't that cool? Uh, this is from Close to My Heart, which I've just heard is going out of business. I don't do a lot of close to, I, we don't, I don't have a, a dealer or anything near me. But um, yeah, that one was $2.95. So uh, actually, I think that, this one doesn't have a price on it. Oh, this one's $4.95. So the $2.95 one was free. These are stamping up everything Eleanor, and um, they're not yet, they're not on anything yet. So I can fix those the way I want to, which I'm kind of cool with. But I really liked this swirl, and I really liked this piece here. And little birdie's kind of cute too, so I, that's why I got those. Um, this is also stamping up, it's called Madison Avenue. That was $2.50. And this one was $2.50. This is also Stampin' Up. It's beautifully Baroque, but it's one of the old-fashioned wooden ones. But I thought that was really pretty. So those were buy one, get one free. How could I not? I got scissors for $0.95 cents each. Two different patterns here. I like to do these for my edges. I got an embossing little... Is this just a little embossing piece for just for $0.75? Cents? And then this. Oh, and I got the this. This was 50 cents for the bin. And believe me, I will be using this bin. And not just for my haul today, but we'll be using this bin for a lot of things. I'm just putting things back in here to get them out of my way so that I can show you this other piece. Let me move that over to the side and look at this. This one I did, opened already because it is a die cut, put it here so you can see it. It is a die cut and it still had, whoever used it last had not cleaned it out. So there were some places that I needed to knock the, the stuff out of and it's on a magnetic piece. 
So, and I don't have any magnetic pieces because they're not cheap. So I got this. Isn't this wonderful? I'm going to play with this in a minute. In a, in a few minutes, we're going to get out the big shot and I am going to make a couple of die cuts and then we're going to do some stamping and try some of those stamps and we're going to make something with all of this. But before we do, let's go one more through this bag of lace. I am so excited about this bag of lace because we have this really pretty, I'm doing a green and pink journal right now and that is going to be beautiful. I'll find a way to use that lace or this lace or both laces. Isn't that really pretty? I'll hold it up here where you can see it a little better. Am I too close to the camera? It's hard for me to see the camera because I'm up, I'm standing up. There's a little bit of really pretty border lace that's white. Some more lace, white lace. And look at these, that's, I mean, that's probably close to a yard of it. Of the white ruffle. I have uh, some more, this, wow, how long is this? Oh, look, there's a little piece there that I just missed. Just a little strip that has roses on it. And then this strip, which is also good for edging. And the, oh my glory, there's a lot of this stuff. There's a couple of yards of that. This really pretty pink. And there's at least a yard of this, maybe a yard and a half. This pretty, okay, this one is a different one. I thought they were all together. They're not. This is a piece of ecru. And then this is a much longer piece of ecru with little flowers on it. It's a piece of blue. And this piece is about a yard. Look at this silver. Won't that be gorgeous on a... Let me find my paper again. Look at this. Ah, get that off of there. Look at that on a... Think of that on a winter journal behind a blue background. Oh, that's going to be stunning. I'm not done yet. There's still more in here. There's this thin lace. There's some more. No, this is a different one. This is a different pattern, a short piece, maybe two feet. And then a much longer piece of this. Oh, is it? Oh, that is really pretty. I am so excited about all these laces. And then a different pink. Let me see if I can figure out how this goes. Okay, here's the end. So let me find the end of it, and then we can see what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? So all of this lace, let me find the rest of it, all of this lace, $2. This is an absolutely wonderful store. They have a great mission. It's run, like I said, by all volunteers. There are a couple managers who are paid, but primarily all the staff is volunteers. They take in, as, as I was there, the donation section was open and um, I saw two women walking in, one with an entire bolt of cloth that she must have decided she didn't need or was extra and she was taking that in. I think I might take some of my stamps in. Um, I've got a whole bunch of stamps that I've bought at different um, thrift stores and I'll buy the because a lot of times at the thrift store you buy a bag of them and you don't you can't break them up. So you buy the whole bag and then you get home and you say, okay, there's three in here that I want and four that I don't. So what am I going to do with the four that I don't? Well, now I know what I'm going to do with them. I want to take them to craft bits and pieces. They, this was established in 2002. I had never heard of it until recently. I only got up there today and oh my glory, I will be going back because they have bins bins like this this these 12 by 12 bins there had to have been at least a half a dozen of just stamps uh, uh, stickers sorry just stickers 
you know, sheets of stickers. I went through two of them. I didn't have time to go through the rest of them. Um, I was already there much longer than I expected to be because I didn't know that it was going to be as wonderful as it was. So give me a minute. We're going to, I'm going to clean up. I'm going to grab my big shot and we're going to make a couple of these and see what, how they come out. And then we will go from there. All right. Pausing my video. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I am back. I made some with the Big Shot trying. I, I, first of all, with the laces, let me show you what I ended up with the laces. So I have a whole pile that still has to be put around. I cut up um, paper towel rolls and I use the paper towel rolls as spools. So those came out all right. I've got the pinks there. The silver ended up actually being two different pieces. And then that particular acru or off-white, whatever you want to call it, ended up being, that's all one piece. It's huge. It's incredible. I think it's an entire spool. But there are some spots on it. So I think it got damaged at some point. The spots don't bother me. I'll just, you know, age it and it'll be fine. So I did those. But I still have an entire pile here yet to spool, and I don't have any more paper towel rolls, so I have to wait till I finish a paper towel roll, and I will do those. Um, I also, I filmed this, but I don't think it's really very interesting watching me crank a, a big shot. So um, I did these, and I did these three frames. This one came out of here, and um, that's the big one. I will tell you that most of these pieces did fall out of there, so there wasn't a lot to clean on the stencil afterward. But as you can see, a lot of the impressions did not go all the way through. So it's really pretty. I will probably use it as an accent piece at some point. Um, it'll be fine. But uh, all the, the lacy work didn't come out. Um, I then tried it on a smaller piece, same uh, this is the, the this size. Put that in there. Um, this is also, it's a pretty heavy cardstock. And a piece just went flying, so something came out. Um, but not, I'm just doing it again to see if I can get any more to come out. Apparently not. You can see how lacy it is. But again, a lot of the lace, little lace pieces did not go all the way through. So then I tried it on a piece of thinner cardstock. Um, it's not a lot thinner, just a little bit thinner. And um, that was this piece, but this one, you can see a lot got stuck in it. So I have to clean that one out. I'm not gonna put that one away yet. I have to clean it out. Uh, and while it is pretty, uh, a lot of them only got done part way. So if you have tips or tricks on how to do these, please let me know in the comments because I really like these. Um, they're really pretty, but I've got to figure out how to do all the lacing with them. So those are the three that I did while I had the camera off. Okay, moving on. Um, I want to take a look at these stamps and I have, to that end, I have all my stamp, whatever you call these things, acrylic blocks. I've got out a bunch of different colors. I have peacock feathers and seedless preserves, but I also bought just recently at um, Joann's, this is Violet Studio Designs, um, and they're just little minis. There's a blue and a red and an orange and a brown. And then I also bought Memento Rhubarb Stock. And I was I'm curious to see how this works. I've not tried the Memento before. I've used them at my stamping up workshops that I go to. Um, she has some of these. Oh, look, it's broken. That's not so good, is it? The corner's broken. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like it's going to matter so much to the stamp pad. So that's all right. We'll work with it. We go, we'll, we can handle it. So I have a bunch of blank paper here. Remember, these are all from Craft Bits and Pieces. And that's Fairport Crafts 
bit, craft to bits and pieces .com. I'll put the link down below so that you can, if you are curious, you can go see them. Okay, so I have here, hang on, I want to get a piece. This is just a piece of scrap paper because I want to try my scissors and see what they look like. Now this is just more or less, I'm just cutting a little piece. Okay, so that's what it, that's the design it gives. That's this Fisker's paper edgers. That's the design it gives there, and that's the inverse here. So it's like a pinking shears, but they're real, it's like a big pinking shears. So that'll be cool. So that's that one. And then this one is very different. Let's keep going here on the same. Okay, this one might be not working quite as well. It's a little bit tough, but let's keep going. Okay, it's going better now, now that it knows what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, and it does this kind of a an edge, almost as if it's a waves on a seashore. Wouldn't that be cool to use for waves on a seashore? And that's this is by Provo Craft. It's the other one was Fiskers. Yeah, this one was a Fiskers paper edgers, and this was just says Provo Craft on it. All right, we'll put that that aside and let's see what else we've got here. So let's take a look at the stamps. Now these were my dollar fifty stamps, and I'm not going to do all of them, but let's open them up and. see See what we can oh that's interesting okay it is stapled at that end but it's really open at this end okay I do like both of these designs but I want this is the one I want to play with if I can get it off the paper okay maybe it doesn't come off the paper Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, this one comes off. Oh, although it's tough. Let's stick it on here. And try this memento. And see what we've got. Ooh, already I'm liking it. Okay, so let's just take that and stamp that. I want my stamp pa paper underneath it. We're going to stamp that right here. And give it a second to let it the ink sink in. I don't have one of those things that flop over and hold it still and all of that. Okay. Uh, what I should be doing here, you know what? Let's do it the right way. Move this stuff out of the way. We'll put the glue book down, put the this on top of it. That'll give it a little bit more. I do like that color though. Isn't that a pretty color? This is a Memento Rhubarb Stalk. And it is Fade Resistant Dye Ink. And I'm going to look at the bottom and see if it's archival. If it says um, water-based, acid-free water-based, which means if I put something watery on top of it, it is in fact going to um, run. So I want to be careful about that. This is not permanent ink. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to use my new fancy scissors. And cut the top off, and that'll be a tag. Well, the, that's a nice tag base. Okay, got another piece here. Let's see if I can get that other piece off. Okay. 
There we go. You just got to be persistent, I guess. I don't think this has ever been off. This one has ever been off. No, that's not it. That's, that's, you're taking the whole thing off. Okay, I may end up playing with this one later. Oh, no, 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 no. I got it. I got it. Oh, my glory. These are very, very sticky, which is good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we'll put that one there. And I'm going to use the same ink at this point, just because I want to see the difference between these two stamps. Okay. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Okay. I, don't, I missed a corner. Close up that ink. Yeah, this was on sale also at Joanne's, so very excited about it. So there we go. We have two ink ba or two bases. Those are cool. I like these stamps. These are going to be fun to use, even if they are really sticky. Okay, we'll set those aside for the moment, and let's pull out. Here, this one doesn't require a, oh, it's taped shut. Hang on. Put my tape over there. Okay, 5% smarter than the object you are dealing with. There we go. <laughs> okay, this one, let's put this on this paper and do it in peacock feathers, a nice teal color. Where does that show up against the, you can see where you've got the ink on this one. That's one of the problems I have with a lot of these stamps is you, you think you've inked it and you, then you haven't. Okay, but this you can really see where the ink is. Okay. I'm going to go this way on it so I can get two cards out of it. You know, it almost looks, um, uh, what's the word I want? Um, Indian? Like I might find that in New Delhi. Okay, we will definitely be washing that off in a little bit. I didn't stamp off this one. Let me stamp that one off because it's got a little bit of ink on the corner. Let me just give it one good stamp off. Oh, I guess there was a little bit left in that. That one too. Okay, so there we go. All right, so there's one stamp. That's another stamp. Isn't it? I like that too. Okay, what else do we have here? I'm not going to do every single stamp, but we'll do one more. Now I want a big one. Because I, I, I have a couple of these big ones. So these, I don't, I'm going to have to really play with these. You know what? I will play with these later. I think we'll stop for now. And um, let me, I'm going to cut this one up with a different pair of scissors. Hang on. I don't know where they are. I just have to find them. Nope, that's not it. No, oh, that's not it. Of course, you know, I say I know where they are and then I can't find them. Okay. This is not the pair I'm looking for, but it'll do. It will do. I don't know. Have you used these scissors before? Have you to do your to do edges? Let me know in the comments how you uh, use your scissors, and then see we can just go all the way around the edge, and 
match it up and go on this edge matching it up I'm not sure that I'm all that level with this I'm not really trying very hard but there we go that'll be a nice element so we have this and we have made these to play with out of this stuff today I have made these to play with out of my stash today and I have this entire box of stamps and stuff and these things and all those laces $23 for all of this at Craft Bits and Pieces. All right. I hope you're having fun on this fabulous Friday. I certainly am. I am going to play with this stuff today. I'm going to do some cleanup of these stamps. I'm going to get out some other stuff and play around and just have a good time. All right. Till later. This is Cindy signing off.